And thank you, Debbie. Mobile added 530 new jobs this year, averaging $53,000 a year. And new or existing companies invested almost half a billion dollars in their facilities. Those figures were released by the Chamber of Commerce today as it held its first ever State of the Economy Summit. Most industry leaders were there today. So too was News 5's Peter Albrecht. Maybe no U.S. city has seen as much economic development since the recession hit as Mobile has. A $5 billion steel mill built. The opening of commercial aircraft manufacturing at Airbus. And the explosion of military contracts, shipmaking, and jobs at Austell. But at today's first ever State of the Economy Summit, the focus was on some old reliables that have been driving the local economy for decades. I think some of what we're talking about today, we would have been talking about then. I mean, certainly our port has been a driver of this economy for years, the chemical sector for decades. Specifically the shipping industry, general aviation, and chemical manufacturing. Leaders of those local industries were the speakers today and all see good things ahead in the coming years. And if you look at the next four to five years, the chemical industry is, is a good industry to be in. There's a lot of good things coming uh, in the maritime industry. I feel very good. I, I think there's a lot of opportunity. Healthcare was also highlighted today. More than 15,000 people now work in that industry, more than any other locally. The overall message at the first ever state of the economy, there will always be challenges, but the future looks bright for Mobile. And one of those challenges, reduce unemployment. Despite all the good news and additional jobs, Mobile still has the highest unemployment rate among Alabama major cities. And at 6.6%, it is higher, Mel, than the state average as well. So why is that when we brought in all of these new businesses and industries? Well, that's a good question. I asked the uh, leaders at the chamber, and what they say is it's still a workforce training issue, but there are a lot of measures in place to try to get our workers ready for these jobs that we have. So hopefully it's just a, a lag situation. It's just lagging behind a little bit now, and hopefully it'll get squared away soon. Okay, we thank you very much, Pete.